and sudden death of ISU student Olivia Chudich continues to be felt on campus. Obviously, it's a devastating experience. The 21-year-old was found dead outside of the sorority Delta 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 on an extremely cold January 22nd morning. Wednesday morning, Ames police released Chudich died of hypothermia and acute alcohol intoxication. It wouldn't take long for someone um, just normally to be out in that type of weather and get disoriented, but uh, you know, if we throw alcohol on top of that, that can. those are two things that don't mix well together. A mixture that is now serving as a tragic reminder that police hope students can keep in mind. They have a plan of action before they go out, who they're going to be with, um, how much they're going to drink, and who's going to get them home safely. Hannah Ashley is involved with an Iowa State University sorority and says it's brought the campus community closer. Especially in a religious aspect, I've noticed um, quite a few gatherings where people have gathered with um, common beliefs to help share support for the people living in that house and her friends. and. The family. In the hours leading up to her death, Commander Tuttle says Olivia was seen at several campus town district bars. Investigators questioned those bars through in person and through surveillance video and found no evidence that she was overserved at any of those locations. We go back and backtrack and look back at where um, where she was that night, and we've done that, and we feel comfortable uh, in closing out the case at this point. Unfortunately, it's not the first time Ames police have had to deliver grim news about a student this way. I can think in the 20 years I've been here, we probably had four or five deaths where students have died from alcohol and the elements that they were out in. An eye-opening reminder at just how precious life can be. It's definitely raised awareness for making sure our sisters are safe, just keeping it track of your friends, especially when it's so cold out. In Ames, Justin Cerncy, WHO 13 News. Signs of alcohol poisoning include mental confusion, slow breathing, and excessive vomiting. Police and university officials say if you suspect alcohol poisoning, don't let anybody try to sleep it off. Call for medical help immediately. The YMC